So next week is Halloween. Yes. We have uh, What the Fuck is Wrong with You on Halloween. And that also means it's time for bonus. The Hooker Ween special. Yeah, I'm going to remind I've everybody. I've sent you a couple of fantastic things. Those are not fantastic. They're awful. That's the whole point. These are not good things. They're horrific. No. Um, I, have, I have to work and then I'll come home and we can do the business. Yeah. So if you out there have, uh, you know, what we normally do. We look at uh, the costumes that are sexy, but shouldn't be. Yeah. They're, they're something that someone looked at it and went, I want to fuck that. And they really shouldn't have wanted to fuck that, but they made a sexy costume of it. If yeah. you have links to those, you can send those to us at request at radio dead air dot com. Put hooker ween in the subject line and uh, they may make it into our countdown because we are. Oh, God, we already have some atrocious fucking things. Is that year. what we're going to do tonight? We're just going to fight on top of the tower. This is, this is what's happening right now. And, and you see behind me, I've got. <laughs> Dumbass up staging McDumb shit. Get down, it's my spot. No, fuck you. I'm up here now. Well, it's my spot. But fuck you. Well, you make a compelling point. I'll think about that for a few minutes. While neither of us looks into the camera. But no, I've decided no, you're in my spot. That's called asserting dominance. While Grady beats up the green screen. Hi. Hi. What are you doing, Goofus? I'm, I'm beating up your set. Could you not? Mm, I could, but I'm going to do it anyway. See? <laughs> what? I love Grady. Did I tell you about what did? did you hear at the top of the show you didn't hear what he did? No, I made it in late because I was working tonight. I couldn't find my favorite blue sweater. I was tearing up the house, looking all over for it. I'm like, where the hell is it? Where the fuck could it possibly be? I had left... I had left my... Uh, the door to my closet open. And he had dragged my sweater along with two dirty towels and oh. made a nest in the closet. <laughs> Aww. It probably smelled like you. You little weirdo. Oh, he loves you. That, no, that that's that's creepy. That's fucking... No, it comforts them to have something that smells like you. You're his you're his person. Yes, you are, and I should eat you in my sleep. I gotta go. I got woken up at three and thirty in the morning by these two knocking over a glass of water on my face. Why did we do this to ourselves, Tara? Because they were fascinated with my glasses of water. And if I'm not there to shoot them away, <clears throat> Peggy steals my straw and then runs away with it. And eventually they knock it over. Why really? Are... What are we doing? You're just beating up her tail? Why, why did we do this to ourselves? Because I love them. They're my babies. They're the most perfect little babies that were ever made. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I know. Even when you dump water on me at three in the morning. And then there was the bag of trash incident. Yeah. <laughs> we heard this unholy racket coming from each of these cats weighs about six pounds. They're, they're not they're not fully grown yet. They're not large cats. They're six months old. We hear this unholy racket coming from upstairs. So Dan's like, all right, I got to find out what that is. I don't know if they're moving furniture or what. But uh, he gets upstairs and he just calls me up. He's like, come up here. You got to see this. And I was supposed to, I guess I was being called in as the second parent to back up dad when he yelled at the kids. Didn't go to plan because I got up there and just cracked up. Like I was running out of breath laughing because Dottie, I had I had ordered some stuff from Old Navy online. And I hadn't quite thrown the bag. You know, they, they send it to you in the bag, but then every individual item is wrapped in plastic. Mm -hmm. So I'd stuffed all the plastic back in the bag, and I hadn't quite thrown it away yet. All of that plastic and the bag is spread out all over the hallway. 
because Dottie loves trash and she's just hunkered down in the middle of it like crazy eyed like what come get my fucking trash come get it try it and Peggy's at the top of the stairs like just like slaloming in the railing like Dottie's in trouble <laughs> although as soon as Peggy saw me crack up laughing she was like cool we can play and she ran off and hopped in the bag that's our babies that's my baby, right? Hi. And then you dumped water on me. <laughs> Look at him. He's just eyeballing you like, what? What? What is it? <laughs> anyway. Let's get to the bit. We have some interesting stuff this week. And I say that in the worst way. Each week. Proverb way. Yeah. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs and find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? Agree? I swear to God. I swear to... <laughs> he knows when you need it. So it's almost election time. Thank God. Yeah, but our long national nightmare is almost is almost different. <laughs> lots of people don't like Trump. Lots and lots and lots of people don't like Trump. I'm one of them. However, just because you don't like Trump does not give you license to act a fool. No. That's that's not okay. It's not like we it's, we haven't entered Thunderdome. It's not cool. Although the last debate started to feel like it. A bit. And by the way, everybody in the chat bitching about us talking about our cats. I love my cats. Deal with it. Anyway, carry we, on. We start this one... Uh, in Wisconsin. Peanut butter vandal mistakes gathering for Trump rally. It's early conduct charges of penny. It's a woman who say, who authorities say smeared peanut butter on 30 vehicles outside a gathering in central Wisconsin. She mistakenly thought was a Trump rally. Our Trump supporters known to have nut allergies? I don't know. Investigators say the Monday Night Conservation uh, Group gathered in Amherst had nothing to do with politics. Authorities say the 23-year-old woman was drunk when she entered the meeting and began yelling about how she hates Trump. She, then, she departed when asked to leave. Authorities say she then used peanut butter to write offensive symbols and profanity on vehicles outside. That's a waste of perfectly good peanut butter. Unless it was creamy, in which case, that's the only use for it. God damn it. Fight me. God damn it. You idiot. You fucking idiot. Like, did she buy peanut butter for this purpose? Or did she just happen to have peanut butter and decided, hey. She decided I should waste this delicious peanut butter? You got your peanut butter in my politics. You got your politics in my <laughs> peanut butter. Those are two great tastes that do not taste great together. Actually, politics doesn't taste very good at all. True. It it tastes like shame and loathing, honestly. I, you know, I think that the presidential debates would be improved, however, by making them debate crunchy versus creamy. <laughs> that would have a whole lot more substance than anything we've seen this year. One of the true issues of our time. But, and like, what flavored jelly? Like, are you a purist? Do you go with the grape? I like strawberry, personally. <laughs> Gary Johnson's probably a fluffer nutter guy. I know full well that Trump represents an aberration of American politics. However, it's not like a golden ticket to be a dick. No. No, there are not. limits. There are there are there are lines. And another thing, if you really want to protest Trump, 
Maybe you should check and see you're actually protesting <laughs> Trump. Yeah, and not, you a, know, the Rotary Club. There's a difference between a conservation group and a conservative group. Very big difference. You imbecile. Because a lot of conservatives, not actually that into conservation, weirdly. Teddy Roosevelt it's, it's, would be ashamed. Not really part of the platform. Just that you have to. You're not helping. You you're should, making you it should, worse. You should know that you're protesting in the right place. And you should not drunk in protest. No, it's not. Don't, how is that helping? Drunk protesting benefits nobody. The point of protesting is to declare an alternative point of view in, a, in a, such a manner that it gets picked up and heard. Right. Fight and up is not a clear and articulate manner. No. Maybe you should pick peanut butter because it's the same color as his skin. <laughs> this is Trump is... I... The hats... My... I would... I don't want... Thanks... I... <laughs> thank you... Good night! That's what the fuck are you purpose are you serving? What the fuck are you doing? Wasting perfectly good peanut butter is what you're doing. Yes, you waste peanut butter. But it doesn't stop there because, hey, it's Florida. And again, wouldn't be a week without Florida. This is just one of those where it's compounded and compounded. Oh dear. Again, it's the same fucking thing. Same fucking thing. No peanut butter this time. The same sort of thing. Is it jelly? We got video. Is it peanut butter jelly time? No, no, it is not. If you're going to smear peanut butter on stuff, I feel like that should be your war cry. So this got posted to Facebook. Let's have a look. Cape Coral Police Department posted this. And there it goes. <laughs> I do want to say, I do want to give the Cape Coral Police Department props for having great audio, I mean, great video production quality on their little, yeah. little video things. Um, it's not a Facebook video of Trump sign destruction leads to criminal charges. Police say a Cape Coral man recorded video of himself intentionally destroying a Donald Trump sign. That was mistake number one. Yeah, don't do that. Then posted the video to social media. That was number Don't do two. that either. Four by eight sign valued at two hundred seventy five two hundred and seventy five dollars for that sign. Why? Two hundred and seventy five. It's not just it looks like just a lawn sign. It is just a lawn sign. Is it fucking gold plated like everything else that dude does? Two hundred two hundred and seven. Something's fucky. There's been a whole thing this year of people stealing Trump lawn signs. There has. And, and, and on one hand, fine, probably nobody really gets hurt. But on the other hand, don't do that. You're an asshole. Free speech is for even the people you don't like. Yes. Nobody likes that free speech applies to the KKK, but it does. It does. They're allowed to do that. And if they weren't, it would be a long, slippery slope to... You not being allowed to do whatever you like to do. So we have to put up with the assholes because that's how our society is built. Some people really like Donald Trump. Some people are voting for him. I can't tell you why, but they have a right to have a sign on their lawn as much as the Hillary people, the Jill Stein people, the Gary Johnson people. Leave it alone. Go about your business. The victim later was later later found that 36-year-old Manuel Reitz, uh Redis, sorry, Manuel Redis of Cape Coral posted a video on his Facebook page that appears to show him intentionally driving off the roadway and over the sign. 
Police located Redis at his home and charged him with criminal mischief over $200. Uh, this is the second incident involving Trump signs in Cape Coral in recent days. Other Trump signs have been recently found spray painted with a swastika. Somebody spray painted his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. They spray painted a mute symbol, like on your phone. <laughs> the little speaker crossed out. Yeah. I just, you're not helping. No. And what the fuck are you putting that on your Facebook page for, you dumb shit? They're going to find it. That's not legal. It's even an act of protest because it literally accomplishes nothing. No, it doesn't. It's like, hey, hey, hey. You've accomplished fuck off. Look, the dumb thing I did is all of a sudden I drove off the road. Merka. I mean, Jesus, we went to Missouri last year. If I knocked over every sign I didn't like, <laughs> I'd still be driving around Missouri. There is a stretch of highway where just every billboard is either Jesus or guns. Jesus or guns, sometimes both. Pretty much, if you have to drive off the road and you don't have permission to drive off the road, you're in trouble. Yeah. If nobody sees you do it, don't show it off. You idiots. Don't put your dumb shit crime on Facebook. Ugh. Stop, what the fuck? My also sister ran over a handicapped parking sign at our church when we were in high school. And then had to own up to parking in the handicapped spot because she knocked over the sign. But we didn't put it on Facebook because we didn't have Facebook. But we wouldn't have anyway because that's dumb. Is my point. Kind of. Speaking of church. Also, I wanted to segue for you. Well, speaking of church, this one comes to us from Germany. This is one of those things you should never expect to hear your pastor, priest, uh, preacher, whatever, have to inform the congregation. And yet, please stop peeing on the church. Oh. Pee problem eroding world's tallest church. German city of Ulm is desperate to stop men from relieving themselves on its famous church because persistent peeing is damaging the, damaging the historic structure. That will happen. Those responsible for conserving Ulm Minster, which was the world's large tallest church tower, uh, which has the world's uh, tallest church tower, says its stone base is being eroded by the salts and acids in the urine. It's a sandstone building. That's kind of what happened. Sandstone, if I recall correctly, is a pretty soft stone. Yes, it is. So, yeah, human urine is going to erode that. You actually have to tell people, stop pissing on the church. I mean, yeah. You've clearly never gotten into an internet argument with a militant atheist. <laughs> I just, it, this also feels like one of those Barbara Streisand moment kind of things, like calling attention to it is going to make it more famous. And it's going to make it a thing. Yeah, it's going to make, you probably should have just, I, I, you should have gone. Now these little miscreants start fucking peeing on churches. Don't do it. It's going to be like the goddamn Blarney Stone. What's wrong with the Blarney Stone? You don't know about that? Oh, people pee on it? Yes. Yeah. Because American tourists come over to kiss it. Right. So people who actually live in Ireland, they piss on it. Yeah. So it's going to become a thing like, th like that. They also clean it every day, though. Why? They know that. Why would you pee on the church? Of all the... If I was even the slightest bit inclined toward religion... I would be like, you know what? E even without being inclined to our religion, it's a historic building. It's the world's tallest. Why would you pee on it? Even if you don't care about the history. Find a bathroom like grown up. It's not like dogs. You don't piss on it and own it. That's not the law. 
And you're not a four-year-old. You can hold it. You're aware of having to pee before it's an urgency, unless you have prostate issues or something. Don't don't just pee on buildings. That's disgusting. We're not cavemen. Just don't do that. Especially, it's rude. But just the, the can you just imagine the poor the the, the parish people the, the 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 people in charge of the church have to come out and, and just say please stop peeing on the church. Yeah, that's one of those moments you have to sit there and go, God, can you lend us a hand here? Just, I I I need I need some strength. Look, I know you're all about that free will thing. I get it. But come the fuck on, man. We've been on your team for how long now? A little back up. All we're Thank asking. It's like, you're going to bitch about that? Hang on, let me get Job on the horn. <laughs> you know what? Let me get my kid on the horn. <laughs> Talk to me again about people peeing on your church. It's like, <sighs> it could be worse. It can always be worse. And that's one to grow on. We have another, uh, it's Florida, shitload of Florida this week. My it God. Licking up all that food so the whole area smells like tuna. That was, that was nice of you. This is one of those, your heart's in the right place. Your head, on the other hand. Did someone else rescue a dog from an imaginary fire? No. No. They had a plan. It was just a very, very bad plan. Florida police arrest man for stealing goods to bail to sell to bail out his wife. Wife had also been arrested on a shoplifting charge. Oh, well, okay. Winter Haven, Florida. Police say they arrested a 48-year-old man who stole goods to sell so he could bail out his wife. Who is being held on a shoplifting charge? Loss prevention officer at Walmart in Winter Haven, Walmart in Florida. That's two in one. Caught Brian Kroom stuffing three packs of electronic wire down the front of his pants Wednesday. Kroom attempted to leave the store in his pants. That's three. Kroom electronic wire and pants are not... <laughs> I mean, I know it wasn't plugged into anything, so nothing's going to happen. But it's just not a sentence you like to say. No, it's not. Kroom attempted to leave the store without paying for the $87.91 worth of merchandise, but the loss prevention officer stopped him and detained him until a police officer arrived. The arresting officer asked Kroom why he took the items without paying, so he allegedly told the officer he was planning to sell the merchandise in the street so he'd use the money to get his wife out of jail, who had also been arrested on a shoplifting charge earlier the same day in Lake Wales. Either she had really low bail... Or he was going to have to do this a few times. Yeah. Did not plan well. Buddy, I respect you standing by your lady. Very sweet. That's, and I'm sure she's going to think it's a very nice gesture as well. However, you moron. This was maybe not the best plan i really this was what you had this that you were gonna sell steal stuff to sell to bail out your wife who was arrested for stealing stuff to sell this is, can you not see how you're fucked this is sort of like an o henry story only yeah. all fucked up it's like an ouroboros of <laughs> Shoplift in the Walmart. She's going to get out, shoplift the Walmart, get caught. He's going to get out. She's going to get let out so she can shoplift for his bail and then get caught. And then he'll shoplift for her bail and they're caught in a time loop. Do you think we maybe should stop stealing so we could see each other to fuck? Nah. Eh. Nah. nah. This is a much more sensible plan. I, I feel for the guy. I understand, you know, kind of desperate and shit. But come on, man. You're not helping. Now you both got to get bailed out. Who's going to put electric wire in their pants for you? 
Oh, one of the great questions of the universe. Oh, now the next one. Oh, God, it's also Florida. Jesus Florida Christ. I do not understand this one. Do not. I, I have lost loved ones in the past. And there's a process you have to go through. There's coroners. There's there's police. This is Jesus Christ, people. Daughters tell deputies they panicked. Buried dead father outside Eustace's home. What? The daughters of a Lake County man say they buried their father in the yard after they panicked when they found him dead. Anonymous tip led deputies to the heavily decomposed body. Since then, police have been waiting on test results to figure out if the body was of that of the missing 94-year-old Melvin Court. Deputy said Wednesday, the two daughters, two daughters confessed he had died four or five years ago from a possible heart attack. And in a panic, they buried his body. Yeah, that doesn't sound shady at all. Autopsy shows no signs of blunt force trauma. Cause of death is still listed as undetermined. Did nobody notice this man was dead for five years? He was missing. Oh. I is that's not panic. That's stupidity. Yeah, people. He was ninety four. Like, if a ninety something old person dies in their home, the first assumption is not foul play. No, you guys were fine. I mean, if he really died, maybe they panicked. You know. But why is that your, like, unless you're up to some shady shit, but, I can't think but of Tara, a that would be... Here's why I don't think it was, they were up to shady shit. They buried him in their own yard. I mean, my mother passed away in my sister's home. She called the funeral director. <laughs> right. That's that. That's what I'm saying. You know, I don't think they were. I really, honestly, don't think they did anything wrong, aside from being complete imbeciles. I don't think they killed him. See, I, I don't know. Well, no, they buried him in their own yard. You don't do that if you kill somebody. Maybe if you do, and you're dumb. Or so there's no way of telling. Cause I don't think even stupid people. I don't think when their 90 year old father dies panic and hide the body unless there's a reason i just that dog done hunt for me but i don't i'm i'm still thinking oh this is probably what daddy would have wanted no it's not he doesn't want to be in the yard <laughs> why is 288 says it's your father not a hamster right this is what you do when the cat dies. Maybe you could argue they panicked because they knew they couldn't afford a funeral. That shit is very expensive. Yeah, but they still, the county will make arrangements with you. Yeah. It's not the best of arrangements, but they will make arrangements with you. You don't just, you don't just bury dad next to your goldfish. <laughs> I just, that's. Why did you bury him in the yard? We panicked. I don't, I don't understand that. I don't either. However you play this, this is completely idiotic. Yeah. So or we're, shady as, or shady as fuck. And still idiotic. Yeah. Because if it's foul play and you bury him in the yard, hello? But the Fox Mulder and me maintaining this is shady as fuck. It's not aliens, Fox. It's not. It's not fucking aliens. It could be. It's never aliens. Until it is. Hey, speaking of government agencies, we got one, our last one, and God damn, it's Florida again! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck is the fuck? 
All right, so we start off with driving drunk on the interstate going the wrong direction. Okay, we're starting with that. That's that's where we're going from. Normally, that would be enough. That would normally be enough, but... But it's this show. Drunken woman found with handcuffs, guns, after wrong way crash on I-4. Maitland, Florida. A 32-year-old woman was arrested Saturday on DUI charges after she drove the wrong way on Interstate 4, Interstate 4 and crashed into a barrier. Uh, Florida Highway Patrol said in an arrest report it received uh, about 13 calls to 911 about the driver. You're going the wrong way! You're going to kill somebody! Troopers say when they approached the crashed car, Angela Salmons got out of the sedan uh, without shoes. And, and that's when a trooper handed Salmons her shoes. Uh, she put them on the wrong feet. How do people drive without shoes? Have you ever tried driving without shoes? I have. It's not. It, when I've gone to the beach. It's it, hard. It sucks. Yeah. Uh, Salmons was stumbling and staggering on her feet. Did not know where she was or where she was driving to. Uh, she was placed in the back of the patrol car. She fell asleep. When a trooper woke Salmons up and asked her if she was okay, she slurred her words, said she was tired and wanted to go home. She refused a uh, sobriety and breathalyzer test. Here's you where we say. Here's where we go high, where we go hardcore. Channel 9 found out Salmons was an officer for the Division of Alcoholic Beverages and Tobacco. Oh. Okay. Salmons voluntarily left her position last year. Troopers say they found multiple Florida driver's licenses in her purse, loaded guns, and handcuffs in her car. So she didn't know where the fuck she was going, but she was going to make a mess when she got there. This is like drunken Florida Jason Bourne. Because they don't let you keep your old license when you get a new one. They don't. They make you turn that shit in. Yeah, you, you, you can't just like make, it's not like Pokemon cards. You can't just no. collect those. You can't trade them with your friends. Mm-mm. I, I, it's, what the fuck happened here? She's, okay. Here's Somebody a, got very lucky <laughs> that she didn't make it. Here's a theory. She started out really, really mad, started driving, got drunk, got less mad, and then fell asleep. Maybe? Well, she did fall asleep in, in the, the patrol car. Yeah. She was tired and she wanted to go home. Well, I, yeah, that would that would wear anybody out, sweetie. That that would kind of. I I don't I don't want to kill Francis anymore. <laughs> I just want to go back to the old blind lady. <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? Florida, Florida is happening. There's a whole lot of Florida this week. Who buries dad in the yard? We didn't even bury Miracle in the yard. We had her cremated. We have her ashes in a very lovely urn with her picture on it. I mean, we're renters. So even if we wanted to bury her in the yard, we wouldn't have. I guess, I guess the first thing we learned this week is, number one, you can't keep driver's licenses. Now, somebody on, in the chat says New Jersey let him keep his old ones. They took my New York one away. They when took I'm mine, too. Yeah. Yeah. Usually they take your old one away so you can't give it to your little sister who looks just like you. And then get into bars and yeah. Right. You're 27? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've learned that um, don't bury dad in the yard. Jesus Christ. I don't care. You know what? Whether you were criminals or whether you were idiots, 
or you were idiot criminals, don't bury dad in the yard. Yeah. What the fuck? Dad's dead, dig a hole. No. You might think sometimes do it yourself does not save you money in the long run. No, it kind of makes you look like that family from the band episode of the X Files. You know, the one they were only allowed to show once. Really? You don't know about this I one? Don't know. It's from like season two or three. I forget. But the family, their name was the Peacocks, and it was three sons, I think. And the big reveal at the end, they, they were totally inbred, they were all deformed. And they had their mom who had no arms or legs and they kept her on like a skateboard under the bed and they were all breeding with her and Fox showed that episode once and like would never show it again. Yeah, you can only see it on the DVDs. <laughs> but that's what you look like when you just do your own funeral in the backyard. You look like one of those crazy inbred families. <laughs> You're welcome. Fuck! Season four, episode two. Thank you. We've learned, please do not pee on the ancient historic church. Please You're going to kill it. You're going to kill a church with your dick. Man... For our audience, that just sounds like encouragement. Or Catholicism. Um, Ooh. Thank you. Um, we've learned that just because the other side of the political argument are a bunch of asshole, racist, xenophobic, misogynist, cock goblins... You cannot adopt the cock goblin ethic as your own. One must avoid fighting monsters. It, it's cock goblin I am, less cock goblin I become. It's true. Words to live by. Don't ride that handbasket of deplorables into hell. No, it's 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 uncomfortable in there. Yeah. I mean, just leave the, just stop it. Because it's a bunch of angry white men who are very uncomfortable with how close they are to each other. And stop wasting the peanut butter. Don't waste peanut butter. I mean, even if it's creamy, there are things you can use it for. You can make peanut butter cookies. I mean, fuck's sake, go down to the store, get yourself a Hershey bar, you're happy. Just put the peanut, you're done. You can make thumbprint cookies. You can dip apples in it. There are so many better uses for peanut butter. And also, you can make a sandwich with bananas. And if you're going to protest something, try. Try to do it sober. I know this election is driving everyone <laughs> to drink. I was drunk during the third debate. <laughs> I could not deal. By the half hour point, I was like, I... Make the mean orangutan leave. I am almost out of booze. 